So, we are the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You guard a bell tower. This is your bell tower. You guard it, you protect the moat from incoming ships. There's a bee. What's he gonna do to me? What's he doing? <laughs> he's on it. Oh, he's going in front of the lens. Oh, he landed on my hand. Just don't sting my eye. <laughs> so I used to be a hunchback myself. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the two things I changed to get the back straighter than a, a not gay person. So straight. So the first thing I changed in my life was I started to work out. I started doing calisthenics. This was back when I started my high fat diet and for some reason I was just so energized. I was eating one meal a day, 21 hour daily fast and I had so much energy I started working out more consistently and I felt like I was getting stronger every time and it didn't make sense in my mind why it was working but I started doing the pull ups and the push ups and the squat ups. It's not what they call those. It will. Now how many weightlifters have you heard complain about their back? They're walking around like, oh god. Oh Jesus. Just water. Do you have water? You don't have oh. In my opinion, you start doing these deadlifts and you're just like <laughs> You're putting too much weight on your back. Would never happen in any natural movement. If you want to do it, fine. But I'm telling you, when you start doing the pull-ups, you're hanging. You're like a monkey in a tree. And your spine's just gonna straighten out. If you're like this, look at this demonstration, and you hang. Wow. That was scientific as shit. So that's the first thing I did and I didn't do any specific back exercise where I was like trying to straighten my back. I didn't hang. I didn't like try to hang for 10 minutes. I just did pull ups. That was my bar work and push ups and squats. It was very simple routine. So you don't need to do anything specific for your back. It's just going to correct itself if you start moving your body like it should be moved like a monkey. So start doing the pull-ups just to help elongate your spine and stretch it out. It'll make such a huge difference. And also try the bridge. That will invert your spine the other way. Sometimes we think if you have a hunchback, you're hunched over, we think that it's just like, that's our spine now. It's gonna take such hard work to reverse it. But really, you just gotta slowly work at it. Start bending it the other way. It's not gonna take a rocket to Jupiter to help stretch your spine in the gaseous space of Ju Jupiter. You don't need an anti-gravity space machine developed by Fred the alien. All you need is the bar. That's all you need, my friend. You just hang from that bar and your spine will correct itself. I'm getting tired. So that's step number one. You're hanging. You're just hanging. Elongate the spine by doing pull-ups and hanging, if you please, and bend it backwards the other way. Is it rocket science to say you're like this? Doing that would be beneficial? Common sense, bitch. The second thing I did was get an adjustable standing desk because I was hunched over all the time at the computer you should get a mirror beside yourself at the computer so you can see yourself. Oh my god. Is that me? Oh, oh, there we go. You'd be surprised on how hunched over you can get and how lost you can get in the mind. Just, there's people walking towards me. You ruined my life. So this was also around the same time I started doing that one meal a day diet and I got this adjustable standing desk and all day long I would stand instead of sit. 
and I found it easy because I wasn't eating. I need to sit and eat. There's people that are standing and eating, and I just think, I, I want to slap you in the stomach so you can throw up and then sit down and clean up your throw up. So I'd be standing up all day and you're straight. You're more conscious of your position when you're standing, I found. If you can't afford a standing desk, just stop slouching at your desk. You can do it. You can consciously straighten your back. Raise up your monitor so it's at eye level. A lot of people are looking down at laptops. I've noticed that because I've always been a desktop man. I said that weird. But I switched to a laptop and it's down more. So I'm kind of having to straighten my back and be down. It's a feat. It's a feat of strength. So straighten the back. Look up. Pay attention to it. Start noticing it. And you will change your back. Also, you gotta stop staring at your phone. I call this phone back because I see the kids, even 10 year old kids nowadays, they're looking at their phones hunched over. What is that? What did Megan just say about me on Facebook? How dare you, Megan? So that's the worst. These kids on their phones start holding your phone upwards. I can't show you anything. I got a giant seeded watermelon in my arm. It's the heaviest thing on earth, but you can picture it. Hold your phone upright so you're looking up. Make it your goal in life to be the first person with a straight back looking at a phone because you have to hold it up high it can get fatiguing, but you'll be buff as shit. Phone workouts. I want to add something in here. I never intended to straighten my spine. I never tried to do it. It wasn't something I focused on. I was like, I gotta do this. I just noticed that one day I made a video, a before and after video, five months into my high fat diet experiment. And somebody left a comment saying, Wow, your posture is so much better. I didn't even notice until somebody said that. I was like, looking at the before and after picture and the before one, just slouching over the hunchback of Notre Dame, protecting the moat from oncoming attackers. And maybe he'll, he'll get a date from the princess or he'll turn into a frog. I may have my fairy tales mixed up. Point is, I wasn't trying to do it, it just happened naturally. The standing at the desk and the doing the calisthenics. And I just wanna inspire you, it doesn't take years to do. It took me five months to get a much better looking posture to where people were noticing it. They're like, holy shit, you're the straightest backed man I know. It's amazing. The human body will correct itself. Don't think, oh, if you have scoliosis, scoliosis you can perfect it perfect it correct it. it it's not years of adjustments you need it's just like just start now just start now sitting up a little straighter every day sleeping on a harder bed doing whatever you gotta do in life where what, what happened point is again you can fix your body. Don't look at it and think, oh my God, I've been hunching for 30 years of my life and it's gonna take 40 years to fix it. Just start today. Start doing a little bit today. Straighten yourself out. It's not gonna take forever. It took me five months to get a much better posture and I'm pretty happy with it. This doesn't show anything. Okay, back to you, vegetable police with the watermelon. Go. So I think we're done here for today. My arms are tired. They're so tired, but my back is straight. And you can have a straight back too, if you just want it. Anything you want in life, just learn how to do it. Go get it. Go get it. The world is your cup of chopped up fruit. To be eaten at your leisure okay we're done here thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video <laughs> damn it you ruined it you ruined it thumbs down if you have a hunchback fetish and you go pick up hunchback women and you feed them 
pickled plums so they can have strength. At... Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.